Chris at Snake Eater Tactical, and I'm going to show you how to set up your SET war belt. The uh, first thing you do is you take your liner belt and feed it through your belt loops, just like you would any other belt. And just overlap this part, pull it kind of snug, just like that, flip this over. And Velcro that end down. Okay. Second part, you take your pad with the uh, hook side in, and I like to start it just a little bit to one side of your uh, gig line there. Get that started and pull it nice and tight all the way around. Make sure there's no wrinkles underneath it. Just like that. Okay, and the next part take your rigger belt and I like to situate the uh, buckle a little to the right of my uh, a little bit right of center there and then what you do you pull that tight around the entire your entire waist Under there buckle that cinch it down and now, now is where you want to determine how you want to put your pouches on, where you want your sidearm, your mag pouches. And I'm going to put a pistol mag in this slot, and I'm going to put a rifle mag in this slot. So then we take it back off. And I'm going to demonstrate with our a rifle and a pistol burrow. And we'll use black for a so it's a little bit easier to pick up on camera. So what you want to do is feed the mouse clip underneath this third uh, row of webbing. And what that does is it essentially creates a belt loop there. So the thing's not going to wiggle around. And now the mouse clip is behind your Velcro. So it's not going to ever leave this spot right here. The rifle is the same way. These mouse clips are a little tricky to deal with, but I do like them because they make a very solid Very solid way to mount gear to a belt. It's helpful to keep a flat tip screwdriver around. Kind of get that thing in there, just like that. Okay, now then you put your belt back on, pull out any slack, and there you go. Now, from now on, when you take it off. Take it off with the pad on there. And now all the there shouldn't be any wrinkles underneath there. Should have 100% contact with the Velcro. And you'll notice on this belt it looks a little lumpy. That's because the Velcro and Hyplon, we do pinch it a little bit so that when it's on wrapped around your waist, it doesn't wrinkle underneath there. So once it's curved around your waist, it's nice and smooth. And the other feature, we do two and a half, two and a quarter inch spaces between the uh, these channels here, rather than three inch. 
You know, if it's on a plate carrier or something flat, you want three inch because these things won't fit right next to each other. But because it is gonna be on a curve, we do it shorter so that it gets them closer and there's not a gap between them. And you can maximize your real estate on your belt. And that is how you set up your SCT war belt. Thank you for watching.